Hey, what up, everybody? So, just got back from Redlands, back in Long Beach right now, and uh, a little bit behind on my meals. So, I'm gonna do some improvising today. I'm gonna go work out. All I've had today so far are uh, uh, four whole eggs and a protein shake. Um, so, I'm pretty much working out fasted. I had that about nine o'clock this morning. It's one o'clock right now. It took some time to get back here. Um, so. What I did was, I'm going to not eat until after my workout, going to do a shoulder workout, you guys are going to get to see that, and then uh, I went to Winco, and I got these rotisserie chickens. Now, for those of you who are on a budget, I know when I was on a budget, when I was on a real strict budget, like nothing, um, Winco chickens helped me out a lot. Uh, I don't love them, they're not awesome, but they provide sustenance and I could probably make about four meals out of each one of those I'll get my scale out later on measure it out um, right after my workout I'm gonna have this my fit foods um, chicken parmesan herb crusted chicken parmesan and brown rice pasta I don't eat wheat pasta I don't like gluten if you like gluten that's up to you I don't recommend it um, so I'll be doing that I'm gonna load up my pre-workout load up some BC double A's and head over to Metro Flex in a second <clears throat> What's up, people? This is Chris. I am getting ready to do my voiceover for this shoulder video. Right here, I'm trying to work a little bit on my flexibility, trying to increase my rack mobility. Um, I get a little bit sore uh, in my lats when I do overhead pressing, and, and they tend to cramp up a little bit. So, really trying to get that in there, trying to uh, um, get my shoulder to move in as many dimensions as possible. A lot of people neglect their mobility so much and <clears throat> it's such an important part of strength, such an important part of uh, bodybuilding and strength sports in general. Um, here I'm working with the band trying to get a little bit more tension on there. As you guys can see I'm pretty fucking white and uh, you know um, pretty, I'm not completely out of condition. I'm, I'm uh, staying lean but I'm nowhere near like show shape or anything like that and I don't really care right now my uh, uh my body fat percentage is still under 15 percent but I am um going to be working to lean up probably in about another month or two um just trying to stay as lean as possible right now while trying to put on some quality mass trying to recover from those few months I had off uh I feel that taking time off is is <clears throat> was good for me helped me hammer out a lot of those muscle imbalances it sucks to see the muscle mass go but I feel that when you take some time off and you come back to the nutrition I was only eating like two meals a day and, and really just training compound movements and, and uh, I wasn't getting you know I was probably getting maybe 100 to 150 grams of protein a day maybe um, a few other things but uh, I <coughs> have I really just feel that coming back is, is actually helping me get gains now um, after taking the rest because it just opened me up and opened my receptor sites up to accepting more protein now, opened, opened my receptor sites up for uh, better nutrition. Now, I don't have any hardcore data on this or anything like that, but just what I feel right now in general. So, uh, working my overhead press, warming up with the bar. Again, I told you guys my other video I like to keep my elbows forward I don't like to have them flared out or anything like that um, not playing with really heavy weight yet uh, actually uh, I had gotten my overhead press up to 225 over the winter time and haven't worked in in a, a few weeks before the last video so uh, lost a little bit of strength there again you can see my utter whiteness underneath my arms really really crazy but <laughs> you know um, trying to get the back angle here I come back and I keep my feet parallel to each other really trying to press that bar over my head trying to split my ears push the head through um, doing a little bit sloppy here but you guys get the idea uh, and I'm gonna come into my heavy set here in a second doing uh, this is just one 185 pounds getting it for a heavy five and then gonna come down and do some uh, high pulls my shoulders have always grown pretty uh, easily. I haven't really had to go too heavy with them to, to get them to grow. But uh, just like my chest, I'm not a very strong bench presser, or, or do, nor do I have a very good um, dumbbell press even. But my chest, the, 
always just grew. Here you see me struggling with the weight, pushing through. Now this next exercise is one that I got from Olympic weightlifting. Uh, it's not a perfect snatch grip high pull. My arms are a little bit closer than need be. Well, what you're gonna see me doing here is uh, pulling it up, bringing it to the deadlift position, and then uh, using my whole body to get the weight up to my chest. And see, I pull it up to my waist, bring it up, gonna dip down toward my knees, and bring it up, almost like a power snatch, but only doing the first half of the movement. Now, uh, I'm not using nearly enough hip here, really have to use more of my whole body, but you see me coming up on my calves uh, and pulling. The reason why I do this exercise is because my traps need a lot of work uh, and my side delts don't really need a lot of work. So, trying to incorporate the traps, trying to incorporate the whole body into the movement. You see me here going a little bit heavier, getting that up there. Now this is just a good way of getting a barbell movement uh, and making, not doing a, a, an upright row or anything like that, but incorporating a compound movement into your shoulder routine, trying to get the traps, upper back, side deltoids, and even legs involved in the movement. Um, it looks kind of like a cheat row, um, which it is essentially, but you're using a lot less arm, really using your whole body. Uh, I really like this movement, I really liked it for how it prepped me for my Olympic lifts and I really like it for the way that it builds up the yoke and the shoulder mass. So, <clears throat> see me using straps there. It's okay to use straps on this exercise. A lot of Olympic lifters use straps on their snatches, so. <clears throat> now what you're gonna see me doing here is a modified bent row where I'm actually working my rear delts and not working my lats. So you see me, I'm pulling up toward my chest, trying to keep myself kind of at a 45 degree angle. You can't really see it here. You'll see it when I get the side view in a second. Um, it's a little bit more of a difficult movement because your weight goes forward so much. And you see my back, upper back starting around there a little bit. I get a little better in the second one, but using power to try to get those uh, rear delts and those rear traps working together. Um, just bringing it up to the chest as high as possible. <clears throat> right here, I get a little bit better form. A little bit more reps. Uh, not using a lot of weight here. This is just 95 pounds. I don't suggest you use too much weight on this unless you're a beast. Right. Now, this movement is a non-eccentric movement. It is a sled face pull. I hooked up the TRX to the edge of a prowler. You can do this with a prowler or a drag sled, whatever, and just pulling the, uh, the TRX handles toward my face or my shoulders and really trying to work the rear delts again in the rear traps. Um, yes, this is a deltoid workout, but again, my, my traps really need work and so I'm using exercises that are gonna incorporate this in there. It's also giving me a good bit of cardio uh, pulling back and forth. I pulled up and down for 50 meters, probably about um, three or four sets. Uh, not too much here. Just trying to pull with power. Uh, it is a non-eccentric movement. So this is one of those movements you can do every day because there is no negative. It's not going to put, uh, tear too many muscle fibers or anything like that so that you have to recover from it. So a lot of football players and, and athletes who have a season, I usually tell them to do this kind of work during the season. Now this is my conditioning workout. I sit here, I have 40-pound uh, dumbbells, and I'm hitting them for as many reps as possible here. I think I get 20 and then supersetting that with some uh, hammer hits. I tip the dumbbells in to really focus on the deltoids. Uh, you see I get kind of witted here. I do it for 20, 10, and 8, I believe, and then hitting 10 over-the-head hammer hits uh, in between each set. I'm not doing the dumbbell, the, the hammer slide method. I'm just putting it over my head and really trying to put my shoulders to work as much as possible. This is a, I think this is a 15-pound hammer. Uh, just hitting the tire down there below, getting a little bit bounce off the tire, but really working those shoulders, trying to send them into oblivion. I like doing this type of cardio a lot better than any kind of steady state cardio or anything like that. Um, not because of effectiveness necessarily, but I just enjoy this a lot more. And being at Metroflex, I have the privilege of being able to do this kind of stuff. So I figured, why not use the parking lot? Why not use some of this awesome equipment that we have here and put it to some use in getting my heart rate up a little bit. 
coming down getting some more hits I try to use the other hand and you're gonna see this is a lot a lot more awkward because I'm off-handed uh, using uh, the opposite hands from what I'm used to but trying to stoke some balance in the workout really hitting your core you're hitting your whole body here and that was basically the point of uh, me showing you this workout um, showing you how you can focus on various areas by using compound movements uh, I know my last workout w had a lot of isolation and I really like to use both types of exercises in my routines uh, you know mainly so that I know I'm hitting all types of muscle fibers and making all kinds of gains here so uh, coming into this last hit set of hammer hits that's the workout guys I hope you enjoyed it uh, let me know if you all got questions. Get shredded at gmail.com. Right. <laughs> Good What up, y'all? Eat my post-workout meal now. It's about uh, eight ounces of chicken and about a cup of brown rice pasta with some tomato sauce and stuff like that. Again, this is from MyFit Foods. Um, I'm gonna cut up and weigh out those other two rotisserie chickens that I got from Winco earlier. Um, one thing I wanted to mention about that, those chickens actually costed about $5 each. And um, while this MyFit Foods prepared meal is pretty expensive, uh, the general public gets these for like, I think $10 a meal around that eight to ten dollars the each of those chickens cost about five dollars and I can get four meals out of each of those chickens so you know between uh, the dark meat and the white meat and stuff like that it depends on what you want out of it so uh, if you're on a budget there's always a way to do this Piper thinks so too um, that's it hope y'all enjoyed the workout hope y'all enjoyed the meal well seeing the third ten seconds of the meal let's see it again and uh, I'm out. Y'all got questions, hit me up. Peace.